All right, first alert, meteorologist, chief, I should say, meteorologist, Scott Padgett. <laughs> Why do you do that with a deep voice? Deep Can't voice. Oh, hello, Scott. <laughs> I mean, that's how I answer the phone. Hello. It just, I needed it to sound authentically, you know, authoritative. There you um, go. Listen, we're tracking some more severe weather Friday and into Saturday, right? Yeah, so with the alert for today over, but we're alerting to the fact on Friday, another chance of strong to severe storms. So tomorrow morning, still some leftover rain on the way. Some isolated showers overnight and tomorrow morning. Clouds clearing through the afternoon, temperature upper 60s to the low 70s for Thursday afternoon. Not bad. Uh, going into Friday, weather alert for storms later in the day. You know, it's a 50% chance then to that 80% chance later in the day. I'll walk you through that on the first alert future cast coming up. But let's take a look at the first alert satellite and radar combined. So still seeing some rain falling, light to moderate rain from parts of Kaufman County, Van Zandt County, Henderson, Anderson County, seeing some stronger th thunderstorms uh, up through parts uh, you can see near southeast of Bonham County also for Collin County. So a couple of areas that we're still watching, nothing severe. The severe threat really has diminished, but take a look at how we went through the day today. All this rain that we saw this morning making its way through the majority of North Texas actually helped diminish the severe threat through a large part of North Texas. So as we went through the afternoon hours, that threat shifted further to the south of I-20. If we did not have the rain this morning, the majority of North Texas, Texas could have see, seen, that is, uh, some severe thunderstorms, some supercell storms. We saw that south of 20 as they made their way through parts of Erath County into parts there of uh, Johnson County. Uh, we saw severe weather just down to the south of that Bosque and Hill County where we had a large amount of hail uh, that fell today. You can see that that hail tracker pretty much shows a large hail from Eastland County down through parts of Comanche County, Erath County, Bossy County into Hill County where we had some tennis ball size hail or larger over the last 12 hours. On top of that, a large amount of rain fell. We did see rain about maybe an inch to two inches in parts of the Metroplex. Further in our southern county seeing as much as two and a half to near four inches of rain over a 12 hour period. Now the first alert future cast for tonight shows that all that activity clearing out, maybe a couple of spotty showers around as you start tomorrow morning, so not too bad. So the next three days, that alert on Friday, then into Saturday, a cool down on the way. So also prepare to have a cool and kind of rainy start to the weekend. Where are we right now? We're sitting at 60 degrees with our winds out of the northeast at 6. Uh, so it's been a cool day all across north Texas, upper 50s to the low 60s on the way. As we go into tonight, temperatures holding in the mid 50s. But I want to, want to go ahead and just look ahead a little bit more for you. Tomorrow we have temperatures up to near the 70 degree mark real fast. Slight risk of severe storms that is in the southwest sides of North Texas as we go into Friday. That's at level two. What happens? This low pressure moves in and as it tracks its way in, provides more lift. And then there we are later in the day, the potential of strong to possibly severe storms. So we'll keep our eyes on that. First alert, seven day forecast shows. Yes, Saturday it's cool, but Sunday, hmm, that's the nice day. Sunny skies <laughs> and 78 degrees. Look at this. Sell it, baby. Yeah, yeah Sunday. One out of two. There you go. Thank you, Scotty. Yeah.